in this video I'll be removing the sliding door model of a 2001 Honda Odyssey minivan. The same technique applies to 1999 through 2004 model years. That's the second generation of the Odyssey product line. I'll be working with these tools you see here. I'll be using a couple of ratchets, a couple of sockets, one flat screwdriver, one star screwdriver, a pry tool, a number 10 wrench, number 12 wrench, That will be the number 10 socket. That will be 9 16 to remove the bolts that attach the seat belts to the body of the van. The first thing to do will be to disconnect the source of power, in this case the battery, for safety. And the rear light needs to be removed. It's held in place by a couple of screws. Be careful, you might want to remove the bulbs that attach the light, the harness to the light. And then this couple of screws here, which attach the Rolling cover to the body of the van. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that's hidden, so you might need to slide the door a little bit backwards in order to expose it. It comes off with a number 10 socket. The bolt is out now. So we might need to give a little push to this body part here. That will be the part that covers the sliding door railing. You know to take it off. Be careful sliding it out so it doesn't get scratched. That's the sliding door model cable being exposed. The next thing at this point will be to disconnect the roller assembly from the door, the sliding door. And we do that with a number 12 millimeter wrench. It would be a good idea to please make sure the door is resting on something when it eventually comes off. You might use a jack or anything that will keep the door about the same height. And that, do that door is held in place by two uh, 12 millimeter bolts as I said earlier. Now the bolts are out and the door is resting on something. So you know to remove that roller assembly just tilt it towards you and a little bit down just like this. Gently it's disengaged. And then you see this plastic piece at the end here. It also needs to come up so that the cable can slide out without any obstruction. So at this point, I'll be removing a
which hold the panel in place. This one, and then with the pry tool, up is out, and then the speaker cover is held in place by a couple of nuts. Sorry, a couple of screws. I'm sorry. So, the rear seat will need to be collapsed. In order to do that, we need to pull on this. And this at the same time. But before this, we do that, in order to have the seat completely see, I mean, collapse all the way, we need to remove the headrests. All three headrests will need to come off. Next will be this screw here. Seat belt is out. That screw is out. And there's another bolt which uh, which holds the seat belt in place and then with the pry tool we're trying to get a trim out now and this panel we need to come off apologize I'm working more or less with one hand while holding the camera with the other hand even though I have a I mean I have a tripod here but I'll try to you know use the tripod as much as I can when possible now the panel is up it's up the way so that's the sliding door model right there being exposed So we'll take off this uh, connection here Four of them These bolts also need to come off so that we can assess the rear housing of the cable. Gently pull it forward. So this plastic will need to come off too. So the rear housing of the cable is held in place by three 
nuts. All three come off with a 10 millimeter socket, but there's one which might be hard for the socket to get through, so you might need to use the 10 millimeter wrench to get that one out. See this bolt here, please don't lose it all the way completely, just a few turns so that it will uh, not be, it will not actually be so that it can clear the body of the fan. This one here needs to come off. This one needs to come off. This one will need to come off too. When it comes off, we will need to, you know, release the uh, tension on the sliding door cable by removing the upper pulley which is a smaller one you know once it's pulled out the cable there will be I mean we we'll, we'll have some slack some slack and then the star screwdriver takes off uh, all these uh, screws You now disconnect the various connection that supply power to the sliding down motor. There are two of them on the right side and then on the left side there are three. Now this unit you see here, you know, we'll need to come off so we can access one bolt that's hidden further down. It's always a pain to get a bolt out. So what I do is to pry this, pull it off, but don't detach all the way, please. Just enough to give you room to access that bolt. You see that plastic tab there? I learned the hard way, so be careful so you don't pull off. So you have all the room here to work. That both needs to come off and then there's one hidden underneath here. Ten millimeter socket. Right there. That's where it is. Pull it up just a little bit.
then the remaining uh, screws that hold the the plate of the sliding door model in place. The plate is out now. You know, so when you pull, oh, at this point, please be careful. You can make your markings, take pictures, or do anything that will help you, you know, remember how everything is originally set up. Some units uh, will need some amount of energy to pull that pulley out. Some others, the pulley just slides out easily. You see, that's the top part which connects the front side of the cable or the cable that goes towards the front side. Note how the cable is routed. You know, just pull it up a little bit. If it doesn't come all the way, a little push from underneath will disengage it. Just like that. It's out. Set it aside. And then be careful getting that cable out. Sometimes, uh, you see the way it's routed? It goes from up underneath and then that one goes to the rear that goes or winds around the pulley with the larger surface area for winding the cable. So this one is the cable that goes to the front side is the shock one. See it's out. There you go. That's the slot that we need. So uh, the next thing will be to disengage the cables from the roller assembly. See, line it up. Pull down and it's out. Same with this one. Get it aligned. Pull, slide down and it's out. It goes in from here. It comes out. That's the roller assembly there. You set it aside. And then that's, you know, the cable now being pulled out with the housing. That's the short one which goes in front. It's very important that you remember the way the orientation. That's the plate. You might find something in maybe hang it up tied to the body of the vehicle so it doesn't keep you know flopping, you know. You are sorting your way. Okay now the pulley is out. Please note how the cable is threaded. Same thing, a little push from underneath to get it out. It's out now and be careful. I also learned this the hard way. One of the units, I, you know, when I started out with this by accident, I scraped that cable coming out. So make sure it does not rub against the metal piece, you see that one right there? It does not rub against it. If it does, it could condemn that cable. Of course, when the uh, coating is scraped out, then the cable, I mean, it's gone, pretty much. Be careful, just support with the finger so it doesn't rub against that metal piece. All right, so we now go to the rear.
pull out the main, the cable housing. The table is out. The long one goes towards the rear. The short one in front. At this point, we need to disconnect the uh, harness that attaches uh, the sliding door motor to uh, you know, it supplies power rather to the sliding door motor. There are two of them at the back, so one, you know, slide it all the way down. All right, now the motor is. Lift up, down, rotate it towards the right. You see the way it's bent. Down. It's okay now. You see that connection at the back. That's the second one that needs to come off. The brown one on the right side, you have that one is gray and then a brown one. On the left side, the one that is brown is blue. You see? With the flat screwdriver, or you can even use it, I mean, the star, whichever. And then the pry tool, pull it up, it's out. The motor is out of the van, it's out now. So, at this point, you do what you need to do, you know, get it fixed, do whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do, or the reason why you got it out, and then, remember, the, please do remember the way everything was originally oriented, because that's the way the model can still work.